Benita and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna learn about K-map. So what is a K-map? A K-map is a pictorial method that is used to simplify Boolean algebra expressions without using the Boolean algebra theorems along with the equation manipulations. So it is basically used to solve Boolean algebra expressions in a pictorial form without the need of using Boolean algebra theorems. Moving on, we have a two variable K-map which consists of four sets. We have a three variable K-map which consists of 8 cells and we have a 4 variable k-map which consists of 16 cells. Today we are going to learn about a 4 variable k-map. Before that one thing we have got to know is that the answers can be determined as single if it is found in a single cell. If the answer is found in 2 cells it is called as a pair. If the answer is found in 4 cells it is called as a quad and the, if the answer is found in 8 cells it is called as an octet. These are the steps to solve a 4 variable k-map. The first step is to understand the structure of the 4 variable k-map. As I've said before, a 4 variable k-map consists of 16 cells representing all combinations of A, B, C and D. The variables are split into two groups. The left side row represents combinations of A and B and the top side columns represent the combinations of C and D. Now, we are going to number the cells. You got to be careful by numbering them. Here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and here, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. After numbering the cells, we are going to write the variables a dash, b dash, a dash b, a, b, a, b dash. And here c dash, d dash, c dash, d, c, d, c, d dash. Then after doing this, the second step is, is to place the midterms into the camera. As per the second step, we are going to place the midterms once in all these cells. So, in 0, 1, in place of 1, 1, and in two, second cell, 1, 6th cell, 1, 8th cell, 1, ninth cell, 1, and 10th cell, 1. Now, we are going to group the 1s into clusters of 1, as I said, a single answer, or 2, a pair, or 4, a quad, or 8, an octet. The groups must form rectangles and the groups can even wrap around the edges to form a quad. Which is, I'm gonna pair these two and these two together to make a quad and these two to make a pair and since this one is left out, I'm gonna take this one and this one, this one this one and make a quad or the corners all the corner ones and make a quad then the fourth step is to determine the common the fourth step is to determine the common boolean expression how are we gonna do that we're gonna take the first quad the first quad is equal to a dash b dash c dash d dash plus a dash b dash c dash and d then here a b dash c dash d dash and then here a b dash c dash and d. Now we have to find the common variables in this and eliminate the rest to get the answer. So first we'll, be, we'll do these two which is a dash is common, b dash is common, c dash is common and d dash and d are not common. So we're going to take it in the bracket d dash plus d and we're going to eliminate d. So we'll get 
a dash, b dash, c dash. And here we're going to do the same thing, which is a is common, b dash is common, c dash is common, but d dash and d are not common. So we're going to take it in a bracket and we're going to eliminate it in the next step, which is a, b dash and c dash. Now, in these two, we're going to find the common one and eliminate the rest, which is b dash is common, c dash is common, but a dash and a is not common, so we're going to take it in a bracket and eliminate it. That leaves us with b dash and c dash. So, the first quad is complete. We'll do the second quad, which is a dash, b dash, c dash, d dash, and here, this one, a, b dash, plus a, b dash, c dash, d dash, plus this one, which is a dash, b dash, c, d dash. And here, a, b dash, c, and d dash. Now we're gonna repeat the same steps that was applied here. We're gonna take the common one. The common ones are b dash is common, c dash is common, d dash is common, but a dash is not common. But a dash is not common, so we're gonna take it in a bracket. And we're gonna eliminate it. And that leaves us with b dash, c dash, and d dash. Plus we're going to do the same thing here also. So, the one that is common is B dash, C and D dash. We're going to take the A dash and A in a bracket since they are not common and we're going to eliminate it in the next step which leaves us with B dash, C and D dash. And here we're going to apply the same thing which is to find the common thing and eliminate that which is not common. That which is common is b dash is common and d dash is common and c dash we're going to take it in a bracket as it is not common and eliminate it. That leaves us with b dash and d dash for the answer of the second quad. Since we did two quads, that one is left is this pair. So we're going to take pair one as a dash b dash c d dash plus a dash b c d dash now we are going to take that which is common so a is common c is common d dash is common and that which is not common is b dash plus b then we are going to eliminate this and we are left with a dash c and d dash so the final answer and the final answer would be this. We are going to combine all the answers which is B dash, C dash, B dash, D dash, A dash, C dash and D dash. This leaves us with this answer. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.